This episode is brought to you by the Let's Code Physics Patreon supporters. All right, so last time we took a look at how you can add a grid to your vPython animation window to help you, you know, just kind of generally locate where things are in three-dimensional space. I gave you this neat little uh, make grid and make grid 3D function that you can just drop into a code uh, as you need it. But maybe you're not working in Cartesian coordinates, maybe you're working in spherical coordinates, and instead of a grid of, of X, Y, and Z, maybe you'd like a globe of latitude and longitude. So let's look at how we could set that up as well. So we're going to define a function called make globe. Um, I think what we're going to need for here is a radius for the globe, and we're going to need a, a an angle step size. So let's call that dq. Uh, no, let's give it a better. Let's call it angle step. There we go. Um, so what we'll do, let's go ahead and call it down here just so I can see it. Uh, make globe. Uh, let's give it a radius of 1 and an angle step of pi by 6 maybe. Uh, let's do pi by 8. Just give it a few more spaces there. So anyway, what we need to do now is very similar to what we did here. We need to set up these curve elements, but now we don't want straight lines. We want them coming around in the globe. So what we'll need to do is first make lines of, let's see, it's latitude is when it's coming uh, uh, down from the North Pole to the South Pole. And so what we'll need to do is just loop over both theta and phi. So we'll need to say for Theta in range will go from 0 to 2 times pi plus the angle step because we want to end it to, oh, excuse me, we actually want to end it pi. Uh, yeah, so I should probably mention that we are going to do this in a uh, physics convention where on your sphere, in physics convention, theta is the angle that comes down from the x axis, or excuse me, from the z axis. So if this is your z-axis up here, then theta is your angle coming down like this, and phi is your angle going around the uh, xy plane. I know that's reversed compared to how they do it in math textbooks, but it really doesn't matter in a code because you're just going to be, you know, you're just going to have it spit out an image anyway. It doesn't matter what you call it in the code. The other adjustment we're going to make is normally this is the z-axis. But in vPython, it's actually the y-axis that goes up because vPython is designed to bridge you from the usual xy plane out to three dimensions by having the z-axis come out. So it's going to be a little bit different. You can always rotate things around if you need to, but if you're in that advanced of a class, you're probably, uh, you probably know what you're doing with that anyway, or you're probably using Jupyter Notebook or something like that. But uh, another thing we need to keep in mind is that we only need... Um, one of the angles to go from 0 to 2 pi, the other angle should go from 0 to pi. You don't want to double count your sphere. It's a lesson you learn in, in integration. Um, and then we need for phi in the same range, but multiply this pi by 2. And so what I can do now is draw a curve going from the top to the bottom along this particular theta. So what I'll need to do is start a list of points for my curve. And we'll have that be an empty set here, an empty list. You know, I'm trying to I'm trying to stop using the uh, underscores so much. I know this is more preferable now as this camel casing here. Um, let's see, so I got list of points. So we'll say list of points dot append. And then I need to make a vector here. So let's call it vector of uh, x, y, and z. And we'll do our spherical coordinate transformation. Uh, normally you would have x equals radius times sine theta times cosine phi. I'm going to put what these usually are, and then we'll just switch them around. Radius times sine theta times sine phi. Uh, this is just the spherical coordinate transformations. You can look these up in any upper level textbook, Calc 3 textbook, or um, or on Wikipedia. Um, this is what they usually are. I need for y to become this one, which means I need this one to become z and this one to become x. So they've each got permuted, 
around this way, right? Again, it technically doesn't matter, but I, I want this one to be the one that's on top. Okay, so we're gonna be starting over with each value theta. So in this loop, theta is fixed and we are gonna be uh, looping. So, okay, so this, excuse me, this is actually gonna be our lines of, yeah, 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 yeah. This will be our lines of latitude. That's right, that's right. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll just make a curve with a position equal to list of points. All right, and then we'll, just to test this out, let's go to return. So I should get a set of lines of latitude now. And sure enough, I do. They're pretty rough looking, right? So I probably want to uh, decrease my step there. I don't know, let's play around with the, with the step size in a second to see what that does. Uh, oh, oh, probably what I need to do is, because I'm going, okay, so I don't want this step, I don't want this distance between these to get any smaller, but I do want the distance going around here to get smaller. So that means on phi, what I actually need is a finer step. So let's have a fine step equal to angle step divided by, let's say, 20, just to try it out. And now instead of angle step, we'll have a fine step. Fine step, two. There we go. So now that I've got two step sizes, um, I don't have to worry about, I can have these spaced out. I have the ring spaced out, but I can also have the ring smooth. What that means is when I go to do the lines of longitude, I'll need to switch where theta and phi are so that phi gets the original step. Uh, two pi here. Uh, but theta now gets the fine step. So we'll get rid of this, leave on the fine step there. That should be all I need to do. And this should give me a globe. And there we go, we get a nice globe. So if you were doing a problem in spherical coordinates, this would be a neat thing to add. Maybe you're doing a, an electric field of a proton. You could show that the electric field is you know, perpendicular to each point on the sphere here. Maybe you've got something moving around on a sphere. Maybe you've got a ball rolling inside of a hemisphere or something. And so, yeah, this is this is pretty helpful to you, I think. All right, let's uh, add in one more thing. And that's the ability to turn this thing on and off. Uh, let's see, we've done this twice now. So we'll just copy this here, paste it in here. Paste, there we go. Uh, and we'll make this turn, instead of turn grid, we'll call it turn globe. And so instead of calling this grid, we'll call it globe. It doesn't really matter what I call it, but if it doesn't matter what you call it, you might as well call it something that makes sense, right? Um, I don't think I have grid anywhere left in the code. Nope, okay, so I'll need to call this one global code. And so whenever I make a curve, I'll just say global dot append, not global, uh, globe. Wait, what did I just do here? Global globe. Oh goodness, that's getting me confused. Okay, global globe, globe dot append. There we go. Copy and paste. The curve is the only thing I need to add. I don't need to do anything with this list of points. That's just a temporary array. And so now when I go to sleep, let's say for two seconds, and we'll say turn globe off and then sleep for two seconds, turn globe on. Close quote, close paren, there we go. All right, let's make sure that works out all right for us. Uh oh, can it read property of undefined? Oh, right, 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 I actually have to start the thing. So we'll say globe equals empty set. Can't add something to a set if there's no set to begin with. Okay, so here I am, oops, it went away. And now I came back. Okay, great. So now you've got a, a global grid. Uh, you've got lines of latitude and longitude uh, if you're working in 3D. Um, if you need to change this to working with the actual, uh, with, with, the latit with the special axis along the Z direction, uh, you can always just flip these around a little bit. It'll just be on its side, but then you might as well rotate the screen. I mean, you might as well just flip your coordinates around anyway. But anyway, I hope that's useful to you as you work in spherical coordinates. Um, again, you can now just grab this code from the link in the description below, copy and paste it into your vPython code, and uh, yeah, get yourself a nice little globe. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.